everybody, Robin here, and I'm coming to you with my July 2015 favorites. It's going to be a little mixture of everything. First off are my sunglasses right here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you might have seen these um, in a couple pictures. I wear these pretty much every day. They're my daily um, sunglasses. I got them from Torrid. Um, they're right around $10, I think. <coughs> I do better with cheap sunglasses because if I get expensive ones, I either lose them or break them. So I'd rather get ones that are like $10 or less. Um, the second thing is actually a television show. When I'm at work and I tend to do a lot of spreadsheets and things like that, I want something playing. Usually I listen to music, but sometimes I get tired of listening to music because even streaming radio stations and stuff play the same crap over and over. So um, I've been listening to things on Netflix or Amazon Prime. And between the Egyptian documentaries that I listen to, um, I rediscovered a show, um, or I guess I would say I'll say a host that I used to love years ago, um, and that's Anthony Bourdain. Um, I used to watch No Reservations, um, but now he's doing Parts Unknown for CNN. And I had seen a couple of them, but I hadn't seen all of them. <clears throat> well, they had the first four seasons on Netflix. So I burned through those suckers. Um, I can't wait for the fifth season to be um, put onto Netflix because I really want to see the one from Hawaii. I'm very interested. But um, uh, I started going back and rewatching the No Reservations and um, I've caught a couple of his show, The Layover, which was kind of between the two series that he had. So, yeah, I, I really like how he, um, he goes in and discovers about the food, but he also learns about the people and the culture through the food. And then he goes into some of the history of places. The Jerusalem, for Parts Unknown, that one is fantastic. That one is, was so good. So freaking good. Like, that was seriously... And the um, Ira, uh, Iran. The Iran one was really good, too. So, um, now I'll move into more hair care, makeup-y stuff. So, first off, hair care. Batiste. Um, <laughs> Batiste dry shampoo. Everyone raves about it. I always thought it was... You know, it's okay. I mean, it's a good dry shampoo. But the, the cherry... Bombski. Um, that's the only scent I'm going to buy from now on and I will cry if they ever discontinue it. Um, another thing for my hair, I got this in my birch box and this is the Macadamia Professionals Weightless Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I am completely in love with this thing. I actually use my birch box points to purchase the travel sample set, whatever, of the um, Weightless Moisture line. So I'm hoping that'll come in soon. I got the shipping notification. The day I ordered it, actually, which was kind of weird. So, really loving this stuff. It's great for my really fine, fine hair. Um, I don't really have anything else for hair. Um, for hands, I have this. Um, I caved. I don't. I didn't really need more hand soap from Bath and Body Works, but this is pretty much the only hand soap that I like. Um, and I this Boardwalk Vanilla Cone is everything. Um, I got a couple of them last month sometime when they were still doing all the anniversary sale stuff. Excuse me, or semi-annual sale, sorry. I'm getting Nordstrom confused. Um, but yeah, so I got a couple of them and I was like, okay, I need more. So I went back to the Bath and Body Works by my house and they had some left and they're 350 now, I think, or 325, something like that. So, um, yeah, I got some, um, restocked up and that's actually what's in my bathroom right now. This is just one of the extras cause I've got like five of them now. Um, another thing that I've really been loving is this. Everyone's been talking about it. Sorry. I just pulled it out of my bathroom. The makeup eraser. Um, I, I ordered it because I saw people using it and I'm like, okay, it's just a chamois cloth or, you know, whatever. So even if I don't like it for my face, I can use it for cleaning or whatever. So, um, I had some Amazon gift cards, decided to use them to get this. 
how happy I did. So this is wonderful. The shorter side, the side without the tag. This is the side to remove the makeup. The longer side, this is your exfoliating side. Um, make sure you wash it before you use it the first time. But it is wonderful and um, I like not having to go buy makeup wipes. Um, I just heard my dinner beeping, but I will finish this. Um, I'm going to go through really fast now. <laughs> okay, so for makeup, totally in love with this Tony Moly Luminous Goddess Aura Beam. I mix it with my foundation. If you watch my chit chat video, um, I showed you how I use this, but it is literally just this little gel. It's you know, it doesn't look like anything exciting, but it does add this nice dewiness to your skin. It's very sticky, so I wouldn't use it on top of foundation. They actually suggest not to. Um, they say, you know, you either place it on your face where you want it and then put your foundation on or mix it in with your foundation like I do. And then the foundation I'm in love with right now is the Born This Way Foundation from um, Too Faced and I am in the light beige color. Uh, I actually got a deluxe sample from Sephora and I'm still not done with this and I've been using it almost every single day. So a little bit of this really goes a long way, especially if I mix it with the um, Aura Beam. So another Tony Moly product that I'm in love with is the Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. <laughs> it's, it's just a refresher spray and this one smells like it has chamomile in it it's just really nice here in the summer when it's like a hundred and something degrees and you feel like your face is falling off so I just really like that and it kind of tones my skin a little bit too and now if I get too sweaty which I'm dry skin but we've been having a lot of humidity lately with monsoons coming in um I carry this around with me all the time but it has been a godsend you can't even tell what it is anymore it is not a mac it is actually BH Cosmetics. Um, it's the Studio Pro Powder, and I'm in the shade 215. And as you can see, I've hit pan on it. Uh, I do have a backup. It has one of those spongy applicators underneath. But this stuff is great. I love it. It's creamy. It's way cheaper than MAC and works just as well in my eyes. Um, I'm going to talk about this because I think everybody is... This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I'm not going to swatch it because everybody and their dog has swatched it. But I use this a lot. <laughs> and if I'm not using this, I'm actually using one of the highlighters from one of the Freedom Makeup um, palettes. Either the Blush Bronze and Baked or the Peach um, and Baked. So this is the Bronze and Baked. I actually have this one on today, which is like this super white gold shade. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. I can really smell my dinner. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's what it looks like, but it's like high beam for days. Um, and I've been using this color here to warm up my face a lot. Um, the only thing I would say is it kind of pills up depending on the brush that you use, but I don't really care about that. And this color is freaking gorgeous. It's, it's just stunning. And then in the peach palette... Um, I like combining these two colors here. So let me turn this off here. Um, this color and this color I like combining. And then I also like combining these two colors because, um, they do have a very slight, like, it's not really a shimmer. It's more like a sheen. So I do like these a lot. And then I've rediscovered my love for the Zoyeva Rose Golden. I didn't really not love it. Oh, shoot. One of the colors popped out. Um, anyway. <laughs> I this, this palette is... I've been loving this kind of neutral eye that I have going on right now. Um, and I've been doing a lot of neutral smoky eyes. So, yeah. And then I use a pop of color. I don't know if you can tell what's under my eyes. It's actually this e.l.f. Um, Lock On Gel Liner and it's in this kind of forest green color. Absolutely freaking love these liners. Um, I tried to do it over the gel stuff but um, I love these. They're fantastic. This has stayed on all day. Like seriously all day. And then my Marc Jacobs liners. 
Um, I have still am rocking my little baby brown one. And then the colors that I've been using a lot um, in the buff, uh, I've been using in my waterline a lot. So there's in the buff. And then um, I've been into like a whole green teal kick. So this is Peridot right here. And then this one's Odyssey, which Odyssey I pair with any kind of peach or um, anything like that. So those I've been absolutely loving. I, I, I think I will eventually own every single Marc Jacob liner. Oh wait, I forgot. There's another one too. This one called Sunset. Right here. I wore the hell out of this one too. I mean, you can tell. Look at it. <laughs> So those I love, 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 love. And then last but not least, um, I will go into the lipsticks that I've been loving. <sighs> These. The first one is the one that I have on. It's the Blushing Pout. It's one of the Maybelline mattes, one of the new ones. So I'm really loving this one. It's uh, $6.82. These are $5.50 at Walmart. At least they are here. And then the rest of these are ColourPop. Um, two of them are the liquid matte lipsticks. They're back in stock, by the way. Um, <laughs> this first one is called Sunday. This is the one that has the kind of blue duo chromey in it. And then Creeper, which I'm not going to swatch these because, like I said, everybody and their dog has swatched these and you can see the color. So Sunday and Creeper. And then from the Lippy Sticks line, this one will forever be my favorite color and that's Lumiere and I mean it's so bad like I've cracked the freaking cap can, can we talk about the fact that this looks like it's been through hell and back but um Lumiere is oh this is just a good all-around color it's very similar to ah, the Maybelline color um actually I'll swatch the Maybelline color next to it so you can see it's just like a darker version of the Maybelline one. And then the other two that I'm in love with are Juicy and Go Fish. So yeah, this is Juicy. Oh, the Lumiere is one of the, I think it's a matte. Yeah, it's a matte. And Juicy and Go Fish are both hyper glossy. So this is Juicy right here. And then Go Fish. Um, I actually had Go Fish on earlier today. So these are kissing cousins to each other. Um, it's just um, Go Fish is a little bit redder than Juicy. So that is everything. Oh, wait. For, sorry, I forgot a nail polish. This, I don't even think Zoya makes it anymore, but it's Zoya Irene. I just think it's a really interesting color. Um, it's like this green duochrome weird thing. I got it. Um, if you buy a certain amount of Zoyas, they send you free ones of ones that they discontinued. And I got this and I love it. And then the other thing is my G-Shock. I, <laughs> I got this at the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I never owned a G-Shock watch. And I, I mean, it's a men's one. I know I thought it was one of the baby G's, but it's, it's a men's watch. I don't really care because I'm a big girl. I got big wrists. And it's rose gold and black. And I love it. I love it so much my mom ended up going and getting a baby G um, in the white and rose gold. So, yeah, that's everything. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. But uh, if not, I will see you soon. Bye.